Hello Intune friends, in this last video in the Android series we're going to look into um, compliance policies. So let's uh, dive into it. So we go to intune.microsoft.com, we go under devices, then we can go directly to compliance policy, but then we're going to see, well let's do that, then we're going to see all our Mac and Windows one. To have it a bit more clean, let's go back to devices, then let's go to Android, and there click compliance policies and see here it's a personal owned with the work profile and we need to know that when we create the compliance policy actually also for configuration profiles because it's going to ask us if it's personally owned or corporate owned or fully managed well those two go together so remember check where your device is if it's a personal owned work profile it looks little different well you have another option but it's more or less the same so let's click on compliance policy and now we don't see all these others it's empty so we're gonna well because it's filtered here right let's create the policy so i was thinking we can create three policies uh, compliance policy we want to check if uh, to only have a certain uh, the minimum os level mine is 13. Uh, let's say we only allow 12.0 or later if not they will be marked as non-compliance and no biggie with that they will still work intune will still manage them but then you can have uh, then if you have conditional access on certain resources sharepoint and such it might say that hey i only allow you if your device is compliant even if you have full access if you're on a device that is not compliant you can be denied access but that's only if you choose to do so enough about that let's create the policy so I've spoken a bit in the previous videos about this. So if you have followed all along, sorry, I repeat myself. But if it's the first time you see this, you can see that Android device uh, administrator, that's a legacy way to manage Android. So I'm not going to go through that. Android uh, AOSP, that's for any country who don't have an agreement to use Android Enterprise. And I usually show this list here. So most countries are on this, is on this list. And the last one, Android Enterprise, is the one we are doing. So that's the best, best one, I would say. Here comes the profile type. That's why I ask you to check if yours is fully managed or a corporate-owned work profile. Then you choose this one. The one I enrolled, I enrolled it as a personal-owned with a work profile. So for this one, I click personal-owned. Let's create. And we said we would do three policy. You could put all the compliance policy in one, but I prefer to divide them. And the reason for that is if one fail, it's easier to separate them. So if it fails on one of three, you have two good and one bad. If you put all the three in one, it's going to fail on that one. So you have to dig it deeper. So let's say um, allow only uh, Android OS 12 or newer, not allow, well, sort of. Uh, GBN security policy requires at least uh, Android OS version 12 or newer. So then let's go next. So here we have uh, four sections. We have Windows Defender for Endpoint. I'm not using that, so I'm not going to use. You have only one uh, setting here, at least when you have a personal owned uh, enrolled. Then we have device health and device properties and system security. We're going to go through, we're going to create one in each here. So the minimum, I think it's here on the device properties. So maximum, you can have as new as you want. I don't care it's on the newer the better in the, in my company but th there might be a reason why not to have you want to have a maximum but 12.0 if it's higher than that or 12.0 then it's fine and mine is 13 so it should be compliant what happened if if this um if it's non-compliant well first it's going to mark it as non-compliant immediately you can also say after a few days but version number no immediately then you can send an email to the user saying that this is needed you can send a push notification you can remotely lock and you can add it to retired list uh well for this one we can send an um, uh, email let's say it after two days and i have only one message template uh, actually i have two uh here enrollment uh one for enrollment and 
additional I can send it to myself also let's see if I'm here oh, I were there but I removed myself so if this would happen non compliance then it'd be emailed to the user and also to myself so now we got our first um, compliance policy and it hasn't applied yet where did I go here now let's go back to Android and compliance policy I want it to be here so it should show up here yep let's create two more platform again Android enterprise policy type again personally owned that could be different depending how the device is enrolled into Intune let's check check uh, Android device is not rooted so it's sort of hacked uh, GBN security policy doesn't allow rooted uh, devices we go next and that is under device health I think yeah rooted devices so we locked that one we could also verify that Google Play service is configured. Let's do that. So I should probably change the name also. Let me go back. Rooted and Google Play service is configured. Oh, configured. See if it remember our setting. Yep, required. So uh, that means it's going to check that it's installed and enabled. And well, we, we should have that. We'll see if, if that works. And we. If it's not uh, compliant, we can say give it one day before uh, before saying that it's non-compliant. And I remember I forgot to add the uh, groups on the previous one. I must have skipped that. Okay, so we I want this for all my Android device. It could be different. So let me go and fix that. I guess you who look saw so I did that mistake. I totally missed that. So um this one doesn't it, it wasn't um, it wasn't uh, assigned so down here uh, just move this one assignment let's go edit here and we can uh, add all users all devices and even if you add a windows machine it won't apply to that but let's choose this group here and we could ex exclude, of course, if there are some devices. We wanted all Android except, and then we have an exception group. If for some reason, uh, uh, security have approved that group to not have uh, needed this requirement. Okay, we said we wanted one more. Um, and I nearly forgot what that one more is, if it comes to me. Android Enterprise, again, personal owned in my case. Yes, it's to check... Um, uh, integrity of uh, company portal uh, GBN security require company portal to be safe I think it's you can have it in preview mode you, you can tamper with this so this is basically it's on the system security you have pretty much interesting you might require encryption which I would recommend especially if a mobile device can be stolen um, but I wanted to company portal runtime integrity. So that's basically check that it's not in debug mode or something fishy going on with it. So you can also, uh, this is new also, Android 11 and earlier, they have different um, settings. They separate from there. And actually mine is 13, so I could use this, password complexity. But at this policy, we just set it to required. Uh, we could go, let's uh, remotely lock, and but schedule that after four days. So four days you have to fix that. If not, you get the remotely locked. We go next, assign, add groups. Let's take uh, my uh, group that we created in an earlier video that uh, it's a dynamic group who add in all Android devices. Okay, so now if I click here, yeah, that's where I want to come back. Now we have three of these. Let's see if the first one have been uh, applied. So that was to Android 12 or newer. 
Has that been applied? It doesn't look like it. So if I post the video, I'll just go here and open the company portal and do a little sync. We're in. Let's go settings. Let's do a little sync here. Uh, it's in compliance now, but it haven't checked in since we have created. So. Okay, I just had to wait one or two minutes. So if we go through them first, let's see if the minimum OS is good. It says compliant, so perfect. So this one uh, is compliant. They have the good OS version, excellent. Then let's see if the Android device is uh, rooted or not. It's not, so perfect. That's, uh, that's very good. Then the last one, it's actually not compliant. Integrity of company portal. That was a surprise to me. So uh, for some reason, it doesn't like my company portal. So if I go to the device, it says you need to update settings on this device. So it says reinstall the company portal. You need to, to delete the company portal app and reinstall it from the Google Play Store. Okay, so it want to uninstall and reinstall uh, company portal for that. So company portal is working. So I'm not sure exactly why it doesn't like it. Probably because I maybe installed it outside uh, on, with my personal account and uh, they don't control it. So maybe just uninstall that and keep the one from the store. But our policies are working and that's how you create the compliance policy. Uh, this is the last video in this series. I just wanted uh, to send to my device a lock uh, remotely. It has nothing to do with the compliance policy. Uh, just want to see how fast that happens. So I have my device here. It's open. Let's send a remote lock. Can only be unlocked by user with passcode. Uh, without passcode will still be accessible to any user. I don't think I have a passcode, so we'll see what's happened on this one. Well, I don't have a passcode. So now it's under remote lock. Oh, well, I guess I can just click to get it back. Or do you shut it down? I have to power it back. Well, it's definitely did something. I power it back on. Yeah, okay, it just did that. Okay, so that one was pretty quick, the remote lock. Uh, reset passcode, what would happen if I click on that? I don't have a res one. If I show, uh, yes, sure. Nothing happened. That's me who did. Uh, this one is still pending. The other one is complete. Well, ah, reset remove not supported, probably because I didn't had one. Uh, I can sync it, which is good. Um, I can delete it, I will not do it. Send custom notification, we did in another video that worked real fast. Well, do that. Uh, thanks for watching this uh, YouTube, uh, oop, YouTube series about Android. Thank you, thank you so much. Don't for forget to like and subscribe, <laughs> classic. Uh, oh, this one is too long. Uh, well, you know what? I just call it uh, thanks and I put that in the body. There, and let's send. That goes pretty quick normally. Yep, yeah, thanks. I can click on it, I guess. Yes. Oh, then it opened up the uh, company portal. Oh, there. Uh, okay, that went fast. Okay. And well, I end it like that. Thank you very much for following along all this series. Now you know how to master Android management in Intune. You can do pretty much. Um, thank you very much. See you in another video. Have a great day.